front seat coffee. There we go. So, just leaving Hardwick, decided not to take Buffalo Mountain Road or slash Woodbury. That road basically just dumps you back out onto this road. Looks like it, it cuts out about 600 feet of climbing, 851. This is the latest I ever got started. Basically have 11 hours of daylight each day. Sun comes up at seven, goes down at six. I missed a turn. I'm not on the route anymore, but I have to backtrack a little bit and take this Foster's Hill road. Should have paid more attention and not let the Garmin reroute me. Gravel. Guess there's worse places to get lost in. closed looks like they're replacing a bridge there's no way i can get over to the other side you can't see it but there's another back loader in the but you can't see it's below ground level unfortunately i'm turning around so climbing kent hill after that little detour and it's pretty much what i thought it's got the word hill in the name this is the way you would have come if you followed the correct route like i did not there's some kind of historic plaque over there. I'll go read. And maybe this is, looks like a schoolhouse more than anything. Oh, I just missed the sheep. I'm on County Road, I believe it's called County Road, and I'm riding to Horn of the Moon Road. It's starting to spritz, just turned on to North Road or North Street. Turned on the Sparrow Farm Road. Looks like the rain's gonna be getting worse. So far, this is passable. dry down here. Ooh. Now, back wheel spinning. I can't tell, but this is pretty steep. Okay, I've ride in Montpelier, Pelier, however you say it. And I've put my rain gear on it's raining this looks really bad Let's see if there's anything to eat i've just left montpelier probably about a half hour ago stopped at buddy's burgers had this chicken sandwich it was okay can't vouch for their burgers but man 
no joke climbing out of town. So this is Boyer State Forest and the route is telling me to follow this trail because it's couldn't even find it initially but here's the trail up here and it looks like it's pretty steep I'm gonna say it's two miles and it is almost four o'clock so I'm gonna pass on this I'm gonna stay on this cross town road and if you're curious it's just uh, that's Howard Cemetery on the other side going down cross town road all downhill Hey, pavement. Here we are at North Falls. I think I'm going to shorten part of the route. I'm not going to drop down into Northfield, which was always an option. But I think because of that mistake in the morning, it cost me at least an hour and a half uh, going the wrong way, that I'm not going to be able to do that portion of the loop. And it is quarter to five, and I've got about seven miles going this way to my Airbnb, um, I have a feeling it's gonna be very steep. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my Airbnb and uh, suss out for tomorrow, because tomorrow it is supposed to rain. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't really have to catch a train until Tuesday morning out of Essex Junction, which is near Burlington, my Amtrak train. So I could technically stretch this out for six days. Four point three miles to my destination. Beautiful babbling creek to my right. Should be there around six. Didn't exactly do the route I wanted, but I think based on the conditions, if I hadn't made that error and let the Garmin reroute me, if I'd paid attention, I think I maybe could have done the loop down in the Norfield.